Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a couple project shares to show you. As you can see, they're going to be Valentine's Day uh, themed. Um, I really enjoyed um, paper crafting for Valentine's Day this year. I know Valentine's Day is uh, over, but I'm still paper crafting for uh, Valentine's Day. Um, and uh, I actually quite enjoy paper crafting for Valentine's Day. Um, next to Halloween. So, um, I don't know, I guess because I, I love the color red. Um, so I would say, um, Halloween and Valentine's Day are my favorites, um, to paper craft with. Um, so what I mainly use this year is this, uh, 12 by 12 paper stack from Michaels, uh, which I had purchased in their hot buy section on clearance. I mentioned that in a previous video. Uh, the, this paper stack is called Love and Devotion. Uh, this was actually on clearance. Uh, I think they were either a dollar fifty or a dollar twenty five um, here in Canada. So that's what I mainly used uh, for paper. So I'm going to put this aside <clears throat> and. Um, actually made this quite recently. First off, I'm just going to show you this little shaker. Um, sorry about the glare. Um, it's still drying, so I'm not going to be shaking this around too much. Um, I basically used um, a couple of foam um, frames, which I purchased from Dollarama, uh, to make this uh, shaker. And here on the top, I used a black ribbon to make a bow. And I glued down everything onto some um, red uh, cardstock and some black cardstock. Um, <clears throat> here in the middle, I glued down a um, Jolie Boutique heart sticker that I have in my stash. So that is the little shaker. And for Valentine's Day this year, I had made... Um, this is actually the first one I had made this year for Valentine's Day. Um... I made a um, embellished envelope um, and I really like how it turned out. Usually I make my envelopes using black cardstocks but I actually ran out of black cardstock so I decided to use uh, red cardstock to make this little envelope. Um, and this is great for flat mail and uh, I just absolutely love making these. Um, <clears throat> for these two panels, uh, actually this is not part of the paper stack collection. Uh, that is actually a part of a paper bag I had purchased from um, Dollarama in their Valentine's Day section this year. And I just took it apart. And uh, these two panels here with the stripes are actually from the paper collection. Uh, and these two, these four little stickers in red are actually from Michael's, uh, which I purchased last year. Uh, and I glued down a, this pearl, um, bling trim from Dollar Tree. <clears throat> and here in the middle uh, is a Jolie Boutique, um, sticker. Um, and this closes up with a Velcro. Uh, and this is how it looks like on the inside. This opens up. Um, I glued down some washi and I uh, glued down some stickers. Um, and that paper is actually from the paper collection as well. I just signed it here with a, um, a sticker here, which I got from Dollarama. It says here, Handmade with Love, Rula 2020. I made a, a greeting card as well. Uh, it's a very simple greeting card using the paper collection. Uh, I just decorated it with some, um, I guess it's called um, some die cuts from uh, Dollar Tree and some gems and, st and stickers. Uh, I just made it really simple. And this is the back. Again, I signed it. Um, I'm not going to show you how this um, card looks like on the inside, only because I've already written a little message in there. So, so that is the envelope on the inside, uh, and this is the back of it. So, um, I, uh, here in the bottom, I glued down some black lace trim. I have tons of this trim from Walmart. Uh, I absolutely love it and I use this a lot in projects. Um, 
This ribbon here that says Happy Valentine's Day is from Dollar Tree. Uh, these two stickers, heart shaped stickers, are from uh, Michaels. They're probably one of my favorite stickers. I just like how they look. Um, and here in the middle, this little Cupid um, heart shaped sticker is actually from Dollarama. And uh, again, the striped paper is from the paper stack. Uh, so that is the envelope. Um, I also made a pocket letter. Um, I actually made a, a, f a couple more, but this is uh, probably my favorite from this year. Uh, and this is the first one I had come up with. Uh, again, with the same theme, I use the same black trim. Uh, here in the bottom, uh, I glued down some pearl stickers, which I got from Dollarama. Uh, this lace um, uh, heart is actually a sticker, which I purchased from uh, Dollarama. I believe you can still find these in their regular... Um, crafting section and uh, they do come with a little white pearl uh, in the middle. Uh, I'm pretty sure some of you have uh, purchased them from Dollarama um, or have seen these in Dollarama. So I, yeah I didn't like the white little pearl there in the middle so I took apart the lace heart and I glued down this little resin sticker. I don't know if you can see that it's got like a a rose there in the middle. Um, I bought a pack of these stickers from Dollar Tree. Um, you can actually still find those in their wedding section. Um, so check out the wedding section at uh, Dollar Tree. You may be able to find those. Um, and um, yeah, so basically I used a lot of stickers for my stash. Uh, this love die cut is from this year from um, Dollarama. Um, so I used stickers from Dollarama this year, um, and I used a lot of stickers from my stash, um, <clears throat> such as these Martha Stewart ones, um, and uh, this little Cupid sticker is actually by Martha Stewart as well. And I glued down some washi, and just to give it some interest, uh, that heart-shaped sticker, felt sticker is actually from Dollar Tree. Um, here on the side, I used, um, I glued down some washi. This actually um, is a Christmas washi, but I figured this would be great for Valentine's Day. It's got some white polka dots there. I don't know if you could see that. Um, and here on the side, I just tied in some ribbon I have in my stash. Um, and um, this is the back of the pocket letter. Um, and what I'd like to do with my pocket letters with each panel, um, I like to um, uh, punch or uh, I guess round my corners and uh, I like to double up um, the paper <clears throat> just to give it some stability. And uh, what I've been doing lately with uh, pocket letters, I've been putting the goodies outside of the pocket letter only because I find if you put goodies on, um, I would just find it, the pocket letter gets uh, bulked up, um, really bulky. So, um, so I know that's not the point of a pocket letter. You're supposed to put goodies on the inside of the pocket letter, but I chose not to. And uh, yeah, there's no right or wrong when it comes to paper crafting. Just remember that. So that's what I do. Um, and um, what I love to do, I guess it's become part of my signature. I love pairing up with black with color. Uh, I just like how it looks. Um, and um, so yeah, as you, as you can see, I use a lot of black in my projects. Um, and I'm probably going to continue doing so. I just absolutely love doing that. So. Um, so yeah, that is, those are my project shares. Um, I hope everybody's doing well, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.